New data from the FBI says reported hate crimes in the United States has increased 11.6% in 2021. During the first months of the Trump administration, the Pew Research Center reported roughly 75% of Muslim, Amer Muslim American adults said there is a lot of discrimination against Muslims in the U.S. Meanwhile, a recent survey from the American Jewish Committee, f f Committee found one in five American Jews felt somewhat or very unsafe when attending Jewish institutions due to anti-Semitism. Joining us now, Executive Director of the Jewish Community Relations Council, Rabbi Asher Lopatin, and Aisha Faruqi of the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council. Rabbi, let's start with you. We mentioned the data right there, mm -hmm. what it's showing between issues going on in the Jewish and the Muslim communities. Would you say that's a fair assessment of how you feel? Well, I'm a big optimist, so I love America, and I'll walk anywhere with my kippah and uh, my skull cap, my covering. So I'm a big optimist, but I think those are accurate surveys. And optimistically, what, I'm say what I think they show is that our communities, the Muslim community and the Jewish community, face very similar problems and feel the same way. So mm -hmm. that's an opportunity, really, for, uh, first of all, for us to get attention uh, to the needs of our community against discrimination and against hatred against us, but also for our communities to get together more if we're feeling the same way. Aisha, Absolutely. I'll ask you, and do you feel as if those stats represent the way you feel? The way I feel? Yes. I mean, I love my Jewish brothers and sisters, so. <laughs> um, listen, we are very lucky to be Americans. As Rabbi Asher said, and we have this amazing opportunity to build bridges. One of the reasons I got involved in this, and one of the reasons, I mean, the reason I got involved in this is because one of my friends asked, Michael asked me to join. And mm -hmm. what I learned from being a part of the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council is how similar we are. We tend to focus on, on our differences, and people tend to be afraid of what they don't know. But it's only when we join forces, work together, break bread together, that we realize. We all have the same hopes and dreams. Yeah. Right? There's yeah. great beauty in that. And it's interesting because I think people on the outside would think you hear about all these all this tension going yeah. on in the Middle East between Israel and and the other countries in the Middle East. And then all of a sudden you're saying that there is a partnership. So how are these two groups, how are you guys coming together? Well, I think one of the important distinctions is we are Americans. So a lot of our issues are based on what's happening to us as minorities in America. Of course, we don't shy away from discussing what's happening in the Middle East. And most of us are humanists, and we care deeply about the people mm -hmm. back home as well. But for us right now, it's, we're focusing on the shared goals that we have here. And Rabbi, how are these two groups, how are you guys coming together to really fight against the hate that is out there? It's really to... to and it sounds a little cliche, but with love, really, with coming together, with respect for each other, with learning about mm -hmm. each other's traditions, or how we struggle and how we, you know, there's some Jews that are less observant, and many, and Muslims that are less observant Absolutely. that are making decisions. So we really come together by appreciating each other, by, so I'm invited to, I'm sure you are, but to yeah. several iftars, which is the meal that Muslims break the Ramadan fast with. Um, and then we are inviting Muslims to our Seder, to our Passover Seder, to our Diplomatic Interfaith Seder. So we just, we come together. Yes, there are big issues that we deal Absolutely. with. And also just through getting to know each other, getting to love each other. And the, oh my God, there's so much to appreciate and to learn from each other. Can you tell us why was the Muslim Jewish Advisory Council created? Well, the American Jewish Committee, and we're both the Jewish Community Relations Council and also the regional chapter of the American Jewish Committee, um, really from Detroit, was inspired by relationships like Aisha and like we're, you know, a couple years before that, but inspired by what's going on in Detroit, that we have good relations. Well, I disagree about the Middle East in many ways, but great relations here. And the American Jewish Committee said, let's nationally bring together Muslims and Jews and form a national Muslim Jewish Advisory Council, and then regional ones. And so we are a regional Muslim Jewish Advisory Council together with the Muslim, the Michigan Muslim Community Council. So it's Muslims and Jews working together, but it no. excuse me, it was really inspired, I think, by Detroit, by what's going yeah. on in Detroit.
And there's been a lot of, you know, hate crimes and things like that in Detroit. And we saw recently a man in Texas was threatening Jewish politicians. And so for you, when you hear these things, what are some, what are some things that you're doing to advocate for change and to end this hatred? Well, one is being part of this organization, um, reaching out to my friends and community members and just talking to them about the threat to the Jewish community. And I think most Muslims will admit that anti-Semitism is a huge issue and it's still prevalent within the states and we have to do whatever we can to combat it because just as the Jewish community has to deal with anti-Semitism, we have to deal with Islamophobia and we both have to work together. United we stand. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to quote Hillary, stronger together. Yeah. So. And we have to look out for each other. We have to have each other's back. And that really applies to a yeah. lot of communities, to the African-American community, to the Hindu community, the Asian-American community. And we really yeah. have to say we're going to look out for each other. And when I see a Muslim across the street, I want to feel that person is going to be looking out for me and making sure that no one's going to be bothering me. Yeah. And I hope Muslims see when they see a Jew across the street, they'll feel the same way. So uh, we're starting. Absolutely. What is the best piece of advice maybe either of you have given each other? Either of us have given yeah. each other? <laughs> yeah, when you're dealing with your own right, hatred right. toward your own people. Um, I usually just get advice from Rabbi Asher. I don't think I've ever you, given you don't dish it out. advice. Um, well, Aisha, I should say, inspires, uh, and that's the, the best thing I could say is hang out with inspiring people of different religions, yeah. and Aisha ran for state rep. She's just been so inspiring, such an inspiring person, and that's what I would say. Find yourself someone to be inspired by from the Muslim community, from the Jewish community, from the African, from a different community. Right. And then you'll realize the, the magic and, and the godliness that each human being has. And focus on the common ground. And, and a lot of people don't realize that there is a lot of common ground. Absolutely. And there is a lot of similarities. Yeah. There's a lot of similarities, especially between Islam and Judaism. And I don't think people realize that um, Jewish mothers, wait till you meet Muslim mothers, OK? <laughs> yeah. So there's just. There's a yeah. lot of shared commonalities and goals. Well, Aisha was talking about a prayer that you say. Yes. So there's a prayer that my mom told me to read whenever I get nervous before I go and give a speech. And that prayer is the prayer that was made by Prophet Moses before he went to speak with the Pharaoh. So and we once share again, these, yeah, we share these we're stories. We're the same prophets. Yeah. We have the same prophets. The majority of our prophets are Jewish, right? Ethnically, at least, whatever people want to um, define them as. but. Yeah, and we got along right. so well for the longest time, so. When we started this conversation, we looked at some of the statistics that are out there, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say that when, when you see this, that you're disgusted or you use this as an opportunity to make change for what might be perceived as ignorance? An opportunity to, to make a positive change. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I recently attended this um, Jewish event. It was organized by... Uh, one of the organizations, and what I thought was so interesting is I was the only Muslim there, and there's like all these Jewish individuals from like different walks of life, different age group, and each person had their own way of looking at whatever was happening in the Middle East. And I thought this is so similar to how a Muslim um, community of the same kind of individuals, same backgrounds, they would feel the same way, and we're we're so similar. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, and sometimes when you're so similar. You pick about you pick on differences, but we have. I think um, I think that I want people that are, are Muslim and Jewish to realize that we're we're energizing yeah. each other and we're giving each other confidence. And despite the hatred that does exist in the Islamophobia and anti-Semitism, uh, for people to feel a little bit more confident because we are in this together. Yeah. And what can people do to take part? If they want to be a part of this, to help others, to end this hatred toward whether it's Judaism, whether Muslims, you want to end this hate, how would you take part? Get involved. How? And Ask, how would you do that? Hang out with individuals from different backgrounds, 
reach out to us. Yeah, there are interfaith iftars that are going to be going on during Ramadan. That's a great opportunity. And you'll see Jews, and you'll see Christians, and you'll see Muslims. And also we have a program, Shared Futures, where we have a Muslim professor and a Jewish professor going at each other. So feel free to come on our JCRC agency <laughs> website, yeah. uh, and we'll get you involved. And whatever your religion is, whatever your background is, yeah. The main thing is this such a, a joyous, inspiring time. And I think it's frustrating for anti-Semites and for people that don't like Muslims to know that we're having such a good time yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. And when you see those statistics, it's a shame what we see out there. But we appreciate what you're doing in the community to help end hatred. Thank you guys so much Thank for joining you. us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you.